Hi everyone, today we are doing keto egg fast ice cream experiments. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos. And for those of you returning, I hope you like today's video. All right, so today I am going to be processing three different egg fast ice creams in the Ninja ice cream maker. This is based on questions and comments that I got when I did my last ice cream video. So I'm, I'm doing three different ones. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick video because uh, I've already made them. I will link the, the video where I made the egg fast ice cream. The, everything is the same except I've changed some ingredients. So. Uh, I had questions if I could do a dairy-free one, if I could do one that was made mostly of water. I think, I think that one was somebody wanting more for less, so like more ice cream and less eggs and, and butter. So um, this one here is the baseline. This is four eggs, four tablespoons butter, two tablespoons allulose, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This one is four eggs, four tablespoons coconut oil, teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons allulose. So those are identical except for the coconut oil. This one, I'm calling this, if it works, I hope it works. I have high hopes for this. Uh, I'm going to call it butter coffee ice cream. So this one is only two eggs, two tablespoons butter, uh, some vanilla extract, two tablespoons allulose, a teaspoon of Nescafe instant coffee. And then I had a shortfall of liquid and filled it up with leftover brewed coffee. If this works, it'll be amazing. I'm worried that it might be icy though. So we'll see. Um, this one I know will work because I've already done it. This one will work too um, because it's pretty close to this one. It'll just be interesting to see what the texture is being that it's dairy free. All right, I'm starting with the egg and butter one. Oops, I want to get my, my uh, blades in there. Hi, Teddy. Teddy's here to see what I'm cooking. Nothing for doggies today. I've got this lid on, it's snapped on. Okay, so we're gonna post this, this on light and then I'll see you back when it's ready. Okay, I'm just gonna check it to see if it needs a re-spin or not. Yep, needs a re-spin. That's actually pretty good. Usually when it's still a little bit lumpy like this, uh, you know what, I'm gonna do one more re-spin. Let's just get them all consistent. Okay, this one should be good now. Oh yes. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna put the lid back on just to keep it uh, cold while I do this next one. This is the one with the coconut oil. And we're going to spin it on light again. See how we did here. Doesn't look too bad, but I'm gonna give it another spin. Definitely needs a re-spin. Mm. 
That's going to need one more respin. I guess they both need the respins. I wrote on this one that it took three spins. I guess I'll be writing the same on this one. Okay, that one is ready. It needed three spins. I hope this one works. Frozen butter coffee. Oh, I wanted to show, I heard um, that like a lot of people get concerned about that little mountain that comes up sometimes. That is okay, apparently. Um, it just it just happens. It didn't happen with those two for whatever reason, but it did here. Going light. Okay, let's see what we have here. Whoa, this one is almost done. I'm surprised, to be honest. I think it will only need one respin. Oh, look at this one. I, I'm really excited to try this one. It, this is basically frozen butter coffee. That's all I have to say about that. So let's get these things scooped out. This one is the butter and eggs. This one is the coconut oil and egg. Whoops, I shouldn't have stuck that back in there. These ones are getting a bit soft already. And this one, butter coffee. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have our three scoops of ice cream here. This one is butter, eggs, vanilla, allulose. Taking my bite. Mm hmm Rich and creamy. Some of you may want it a bit sweeter, and I used salted butter, so there is a slight taste of that. This one's the coconut oil. Everything else identical. Mmm. I like it. I can taste the coconut, but I like that. If you don't like the taste of coconut, you can get one of those coconut, I think there's coconut oil that is like flavorless. Um, this one obviously isn't. Oh, I want to really try this one. Frozen butter coffee. It's frozen butter coffee. It's not quite as creamy as these two, given that it has half the eggs and half the butter or, or oil but it's creamy enough and it tastes it tastes like butter coffee except that it's ice cream version mm -hmm. so what i'm going to do with these um because obviously uh, nobody can eat this much ice cream in one sitting so here's what you do you take what you have and you flatten it down with a spoon like that. You put the, like just make it, make it as even as you can for all of these. I'm getting coffee mixed in with the other one. Um, and you just put it back in the freezer. Now, when I made this very same ice cream about a week ago, I used, um, Glycine. It only needed one spin. These two needed three spins and this one needed two spins. So I thought that was interesting. But the, um, the other thing that was good about that ice cream that I made last week is when I took it out of the freezer, I didn't have to re-spin it. I just had to let it soften a bit and it was just like, it was just like new, just like fresh. So this one is the coconut oil. So these are all gonna go back in the freezer and I will be ready to eat them another day. Maybe I have to re-spin this one, I think, but possibly not those two. I hope you enjoyed today's video um, with the ice, the ice cream, the egg fast ice cream experiments. I do have a couple of other experiments coming with these using cooked eggs. And I have some 
protein sparing modified fast ice cream experiments coming as well. Um, I just didn't have any cooked eggs ready to go for this today. So um, stay tuned and we will see you on the next video. See here. Oops, that's a fork. Tell me when you're ready. All right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Gotta put it in the container. Oops. And this one needed two spins. Or did it? Oops. Okay, so I've got this lid on. I only have to rewatch the video now. Oh, you unplugged it.